Live and Let Die by Ian Fleming. The grey Bentley convertible, the 1933 4.5 litre with the Amherst Villiers supercharger, had been brought round a few minutes earlier from the garage where he kept it, and the engine had kicked directly he pressed the self-starter. He had turned on the twin fog lights and had driven gingerly along King's Road and then up Sloan Street into Hyde Park. M's chief of staff had telephoned at midnight to say that M wanted to see Bond at nine the next morning. A bit early in the day, he had apologised. Uh, but he seems to want some action from somebody, been brooding for weeks. Suppose he's made up his mind at last. Any line you can give me over the telephone? A for Apple and uh, C for Charlie, said the chief of staff, and rang off. That meant the case concerned stations A and C, the sections of the Secret Service dealing respectively with the United States and the Caribbean. Bond had worked for a time under Station A during the war, but he knew little of C or its problems.